Many of us have fond memories of working on the farm growing up, but we also know that work can be hard and exhausting. Well, Michael Rhodes distinctly recalls picking cotton on his uncle's farm in northeast Louisiana. He says although he didn't mind hard work, he knew he was destined to use his hands in a different way, and it ended up being playing a bass guitar. This is what the office looks like for Michael Rhodes, a recording studio in Nashville. His desk, a music stand. His computer, a bass guitar. It's a long way from his hometown, West Monroe, Louisiana, and his uncle's farm in Oak Grove. And, you know, and I picked cotton when I was a kid, and I worked and, you know, and loaded and threw hay and all that kind of stuff. And that was one of the things that I knew I wanted to be a musician and <laughs> not pick cotton, I can tell you that. Rhodes moved to Nashville in 1977. He quickly found session work, playing on songs for the Dixie Chicks, Carrie Underwood, Vince Gill, Bob Seger, even Leanne Womack's I Hope You Dance. It's this very bass that has kept the rhythm on countless hits. It's his instrument of choice and God's gift of creativity that has allowed him to follow his dream. Some artists are very specific and some songs call for a very specific approach because of the way they're written. Other songs are just loosely written and actually we're encouraged to interpret and you know put jewelry on it, you know, and make it look nice and hear it and sound nice. <laughs> Rhodes has had such an impact on music as a renowned bass player that he's been inducted into the Musicians Hall of Fame. It's the place in Nashville where you can see what you've heard. It gives a face to the literal unsung heroes of the most iconic songs. Also inducted in this class, singer-guitarist Steve Warner. He says he's honored to be going in with fellow musician and longtime friend Michael Rhodes. Michael Rhodes, I've known him forever, and he has played on tons of my records. I, I love him. When I walk in the room and he's on my records, you just know you're secure, you're safe. And he and Eddie Bayers together was like magic, you know. So Michael Rhodes, well-deserved, man. Rhodes still does studio work, but also tours with Grammy award-winning blues artist Joe Bonamassa, providing more than four decades of rhythm to some of music's greatest songs and a satisfying note to his own life. At an early age, uh, I knew that that's what I was going to do. It was just, it was rewarding, it was f fulfilling to me, it was, you know, passionate. Now, Rhodes is still deciding what pieces of his musical past and history will be on display at the Musicians Hall of Fame in Nashville. It is well worth a visit if you are ever in Music City. Well, our DTV's award-winning coverage of the Tournament of Roses Parade returns on New Year's Day at 11 a.m. Eastern. Join Pam Minnick and Christina Loren as they once again showcase all the floats, bands, and equestrian groups on the parade route. Our broadcast features limited commercial interruption thanks to our sponsor, Dish Network. Coverage begins at 8.30 a.m. Eastern New Year's Day with the Tournament of Roses Equest Fest. Our Rose Parade pre-show starts at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, and the 131st Rose Parade presented by Honda begins at 11 a.m. Eastern. And if you miss it the first time, you can catch an encore at 1 p.m. immediately following that first airing. And of course, be on the lookout for our float. It's Rodeo New York Walk Ride Rodeo featuring Amberly Snyder and led by the Gold Buckle Brigade with the PRCA World Champions. It's all in support of the Cowboy Channel's Rodeo New York. That's coming up Father's Day weekend at Madison Square Garden. That's all the time we have. Appreciate you joining us. We'll see you on Market Day.